Brings up second and four. Another run with Sanders. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. 12 yards there and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. There to stop him was Darius Leonard. You know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Taken down back at the 18-yard line. From the gun on third down, Wentz. Looking to get it to Ward. Intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And his guys are going to take over. 34-yard line. I'm not sure, Brandon, we've seen a sloppier played game this year for a team on offense. Turn it over four times and expect to win? No chance whatsoever. And look, I have no... They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. He was second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. The pickup of three brings up second and seven. On second down, here's the option. He loses the football the second time. Kyle Sanders, the ball carrier. A fumble. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Wentz going to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. It's a four yard return following a punt of 49. Sanders, and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Five yards remain on second down. the gun. It's Wentz. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Throwing his Wentz. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. On a man down, and it's Sanders. We'll check on his status when we get back. on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now wins. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. DeForest Buckner able to get him for a loss of about three. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and in 
incomplete. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. The Eagles indeed snap it. Wins. He may try to now loose football. The ball comes out. like a running back going through the line. Quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now Wentz. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've... they've... They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. To throw, it's Wentz. And Wentz will not be able to get rid of it. He's taken down for a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? That's what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Yard line. Wentz. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Wentz now to throw. This ball complete to Rager. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Three yards the gain there, second down. Three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 47-yard line. Again, it's Wentz. Steps it, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Darius Leonard in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. To throw is Wentz. He can run for it, and he will. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> a little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see ya. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in Indianapolis. The Colts are the Super Bowl champs. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That, the task, incredible. The accomplishment, forever. And they end this 
last year, just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.